Hello. Today I want to talk about a movie I mentioned I got uh, <clears throat> last time, um, and that is Cocaine Bear. Um, this is quite a movie. Um, uh, has Ray Liotta in one of his last movies, O'Shea Jackson Jr., uh, Carrie Russell, Alden Ehrenreich, uh, Brooklyn uh, Prince, um, yeah, just uh, made by uh, Elizabeth uh, Banks, and uh, this was quite a movie. Um, Obviously, the true story uh, that happened, um, well, <laughs> the bear that, um, the, the story that we have a good familiarity of, uh, never killed anybody. And, well, in this movie, yeah, the, uh, the bear goes around and kills people, uh, Despite, you know, uh, you know, because of cocaine and just going, you know, eating cocaine, just, just going off. And uh, this is one of those movies where, uh, inspired by true events, is uh, most definitely uh, very loose. <laughs> um, obviously, any time a movie says based on a true story, inspired by a true story, or any variation of that the movie will always, uh, uh, you know, no matter how faithful the movie will be, they will go to, uh, uh, you know, at certain points, there's going to be certain scenes that ab absolutely never happened or are quite exaggerated, because perhaps the truth is quite boring and uninteresting. Uh, so you have to make up something or exaggerate it to make it more uh, enjoyable when watching it as a movie. Here, however, it's a bunch of stuff that happens where, um, yeah, what what we absolutely know is uh, uh, there's a plane uh, that was being piloted, and the plane couldn't handle uh, all the cocaine, and so the guy there, he uh, dumped all the coke out by throwing it out over uh, uh, the wild, uh, you know, in a forest in Georgia, uh, Catahoochee, if I, I believe that is the, where it was in real life and also in the film, Catahoochee, I believe that is how you pronounce it. But, you know, they, uh, so the guy, he goes to jump out the window. Though in the film, he bumps his head and then falls. Uh, to his death or the guy actually did jump out successfully however uh, uh, when he got his chute open he got tangled up and still died so uh, overall you know like but you know it's supposed to also be a fairly I guess like a dark comedy of sorts so they have all these things that go on which uh, is quite ridiculous. Um, then again, I guess the idea of a bear uh, ingesting a bunch of cocaine, um, 875 pounds of cocaine, uh, which I believe was like, at the time in 1985, I, if I recall correctly in researching, it was like 20 million dollars I, I believe uh, I don't know, obviously a lot of money 75 pounds is going to be quite a lot and well they never did find all of the bags and they kind of say that at the end however throughout this film it's quite honestly I don't really even know how to begin honestly with this it's just so 
out there. It's it's a movie where I didn't really have any high expectations. This was, you know, not all that expensive, about 15 bucks. And honestly, I was fairly entertained. I, I was surprised. I would just say, like, this is a movie where, you know, it's, it's like it's best to see it. Because no matter what you can say, like specific details, I mean, obviously, you know, the bear goes and uh, uh, attacks people, rips them apart, uh, scratches them, like, like mauls them and such. Didn't happen, but I will say yeah, it's quite, uh, quite interesting to see uh, unfold. For the most part, uh, uh, a movie, the, or the mother, played by Carrie Russell, is looking for her daughter and a friend who go out to uh, the park to go and um, uh, you know, they uh, she wants to go like go to these caves and sort of like paint it. And uh, she's gonna do that. She she and her friend skip school. Mom finds out. She's gonna go to find her. Uh, and in the midst of that, you know, uh, the kids they encounter the bear. They run. Uh, her friend uh, goes up into a tree, and the mom finds him. And then, yeah. The, some people like a park ranger and this other guy who's there who she really likes uh, all right and then uh, the bear comes and attacks them the park ranger goes to shoot at the bear but she just gets attacked um, as does uh that guy that's with her, he gets mauled, and it, it, everything just goes uh, haywire. Uh, Shea Jackson Jr. plays a guy who's in the drug world, uh, uh, like working for uh, Ray Liotta, and he has to go and get uh, uh, Ray Liotta's son, play by. Uh, Called in uh, uh, Aaron Reich. And uh, yeah, to go and find all the coke. And it's it's quite the oddity that happens. It's just so out there, honestly. The only way you could really. Think. Like, you really have to just uh, accept the way for what it is. It's a very stretching as far as you could. For a premise where the reality is the bear came across one of the bags of cocaine that was thrown out, ate 75 pounds of it, died from an overdose, and the bear is found later. And they had it where the bear gets addicted and it goes around and uh, tries to have as much cocaine as it can, and then it goes and... Uh, you know, uh, just mauls people if they have cocaine. Either they fall into it, as one guy did, got killed, or it happened just to be like wrong place, wrong time. I mean, it's just quite the movie. I'll just say that. This is a film that. I was fairly entertained by, uh, uh, is this necessarily a good film? I don't know. <sighs> quite honestly, it's, it's, it's quite the, it's, it's quite the experience. I'll just say that, uh, the performances are quite good. Ray Liotta, you know, one of his last movies of his career, um, that was completed. Um, 
has a few others that will come out, one of which he was filming, whether or not they'll be able to completely finish that off, uh, you know, depending on how much of his scenes were filmed, who knows. I believe he has another film or two that he did complete, which might come out either later this year or perhaps next year. Um, but, you know, he, do, he does a good job. You know, I, I, the acting over, overall is uh, quite good. Um, it's quite an odd film to some extent. It's not horrible. It is not great. It is what it is. Honestly, I don't really have a major problem with the film. It's 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 fine. Not amazing. Not horrendous. But it's fine for what it is, I guess. Um, but again, I guess the uh, I guess for me the jury is a bit out. <laughs> Whether or not I actually like, I've seen it once, so it's still fresh, and it's just quite interesting just to see what they all what they did with this movie. Because I, I I understand why they did take the liberties they did, because it's like, what can you really do with a, a story where a guy dumps coke out of a plane? And he jumps out, so then, of course, the plane crashes. Guy dies because he gets tangled in the chute. And then a bear comes around in this park, or the forest, and uh, eats a bag full of cocaine. And then eventually he just dies of an overdose. And uh, it's quite the journey. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, so I can see how that might not be too exciting. However, you know, I don't know, you could probably have an interesting way of trying to put all the pieces together with the uh, uh, detectives or police who find, you know, have to investigate the crash and then connect, obviously, this guy who's dead here. Okay, that was him. And then from there, figure out then later, like, there's a dead bear, and I connect all the dots as to what exactly happened. I mean, I think that could have been an interesting film, but I guess to some extent, you know, you'd be missing at all the uh, action of a bear going around mauling people. And also, it does maul somebody to death for the cocaine, actually. Uh, right. All right. Well, actually, no, that's not true. I, uh, I just lied. So no, the bear is under the influence of cocaine. Um, even from the first time you we see it, uh, it's just quite the oddity that happens in this movie. It's 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 it's, it's very interesting. You definitely have to see it to believe it. Um, obviously, the trailers and stuff. Uh, uh, there are a lot of people were talking about that when uh, this film was out in theaters. Yeah, it's. Uh... And this is the uh, Maximum Rampage edition. So, yeah. Pretty good film. Uh, I don't know if I would ever say this is the best of this year. And again, of course, this year hasn't even been over. So I do think that John Wick 4 is a better film. Um, yeah. Seen some other films this year that came out this year. So, uh, yeah, not the best film. But, uh, I don't know if I would say this is the this will be the worst either. It's pretty fine, eh, I guess overall. But whether I can, it's fine in the sense that it's well made and everything, they do definitely take uh, a lot of liberties. You know, 
But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think the real story could have been quite interesting on its own if you just were to have a film about it. But who knows? Maybe that wouldn't have been so interesting because, you know, you'd be missing all the uh, bear killing people parts. Or, yeah, so, you know, you have to have that. Got to have uh, cocaine bear uh, mauling people just because. And especially if they have cocaine uh, on them themselves. It just makes it even uh, 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 more of a given that the bear is going to kill uh, uh, this uh, uh, or those people. Uh, so, yeah. Got to have a cocaine bear. Yes, yeah. Quite the uh, quite the film. So that's really all I have to say. Um, yeah, I'll probably watch it again to see if I actually do enjoy it more. But yeah, that's really all I have for now. Hope all of you are having a great day. Hope all of you are having a great week. Hope you all have a great weekend. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.